up some water balloons. So the first thing that you wanna do, other than procure a bag of balloons, of course, when you pull one out, you wanna stretch it out, you know, just so you have a little more flexibility with the elastic to work with. And next, you want a sink faucet that looks like this, that has something that you can wrap the top of the balloon around, just like that. Not all faucets look like that. I had to do some searching around this building. So then we wanna just kind of hold on to it gently and turn on our water to a very slow stream. I'm just gonna hold it at the top and then put my hand underneath it to hold the weight, otherwise it will pull it down once it gets full. I learned that on the first one. I got sprayed with water before I even broke a balloon. So you can fill it up as much as you like. I have a couple there on the counter, so you'll see what size we made those. You don't want it to be too big though, then you run the risk of it popping on you before you have a chance to throw it at anyone. When you get it to the size that you want, turn that off. Was a lot of fun but one thing that I should make sure that we point out is that once you have broken all of your balloons be sure to pick up all of those pieces so that poor little birdies and squirrels and other animals don't get a hold of them and it just keeps the earth more clean which is what we all want right so have a lot of fun and make sure you don't throw balloons at anybody without letting them know first